YouTube, what is going on? Savage here. In today's gameplay, we're going to be breaking down a recent match of mine and going in-depth with every fight, with every rotation, and especially regaining. Of course, you want to have the perfect start, have great flow, but sometimes things happen under control. You get shit on, you have a terrible start. And this video here is going to teach you guys how to regain and hopefully finish strong. You guys do enjoy the video leave a like on it subscribe today and let's get into it again my goal all in all is to help you guys become better players because i mean I've, I've been playing brs for a long time i know these bitches are hard there's a lot of variables that go into winning brs and getting high kills and that's the beauty behind brs they're so complex you can play the game absolutely perfectly and still get crapped on but right off the rip we're going for a scab now we normally don't go for scabs i'm not sure why we're going here in the first place but we are there are several different ways to get money. You can do most wanted, you can do a normal bounty, or of course you can do the scavs. In my eyes, I do think scavs take a little bit longer. I didn't even grab that bitch. Um, I do think they take a little bit longer, but nonetheless, get it how you live. And throughout here, we're gonna be skipping a lot of the BS, just going more into fights, more into rotations, and also more into how to regain. Because again, this match does start off extremely rough. All right, I do want to point out real fast why I hate getting scavs. Now, Warzone 1, Warzone 2, and it wasn't, it wasn't like this. But Warzone 3, they've ad adjusted it. And honestly, I can understand why. The scabs used to kind of land relatively close, but now it's such a journey. Not to mention, if you go into Popov with no loot, there's a good chance you're going you're to run into a team. So I really hate grabbing scabs for this reason. Most of the time, they put you in a bad spot. Now, I say that just as a warning. I'm not telling you guys don't do scabs. They're definitely a great way to start. All right, we're about to skip to everything. I just want you guys to see how fast and how efficient I'm looting. Check out the gun, and I move on. I don't sit there. And look at every single thing for an hour and a half i'm out if you guys been watching the channel you know a lot of people open one crate and they'll sit here and they'll just be like i want this uh mm, let me swap it oh, no i'm gonna swap it back again what's the next thing oh shit, trophy says i'm gonna want that uh yeah yeah and it's just too long you guys need to loot fast and quickly no one does it for a flex we just do it because we want to get the hell out of here get the things we need and again develop momentum all right so regardless of having momentum or not we do want to still try to get active we have decent weapons i have an amr9 my teammate sounds like he's in a fight right now and blue is lagging a little bit behind but they're doing the scav so it's nothing against them so we need to start making our way to green who seems to be actively in a fight right now and again, you want to try to get your guns, but I don't want y'all to be afraid to fight with ground loot weapons. Some of them, of course, are terrifying, but most of them are very usable. So we've got one knock to one exceed. We've got a, a buyback already. So in my eyes, I'm only thinking there's one player because there's no way we just executed that dude and he just lost his gulag. So I'm thinking one dead, one coming back from the ghoulie, just got bought back, of course. And then, of course, the third teammate's going to be over there. So this is why I'm kind of amping up the aggression. Hopefully I'm amping it up. And again, look at that. And I'm not going to pause it, but I didn't sit there and pick up every single item. We stayed with the push. We kept the momentum. So teammate goes down. Now, this is a big mistake. I don't know why players continue to do this, bro. And again, it's just more of like insanity at this point. You don't have to watch YouTube videos to realize if what you've been doing isn't working, change it. Laying prone in the open. Wild. You know, why not play the hill? You can kind of stand up and move around that bitch. Why not play this? You can stand up and move around it. Same thing with the wall. You got a lot of cover right here. And instead you decide to belly flop like your mom at a bukkake party. Now, the reason why I shot him was more or less because I thought he was about to full send my ass and I want to let him know, bitch, I know you're coming and, and have him go away. Throw out a smoke, get the res off. Now, realistically, I probably should pop the reload first just in case you get pushed so do as i say not as i do type vibe now again it's pop off so we need to be worried about is of course his teammates if they are around and also a third party situation so i decided to challenge out the right hand side and the reason why i decided to challenge out the right hand side of the building and put myself vulnerable is because he was already shooting at my teammate on the left and through the middle so I wanted to try to change my angle. Didn't work out, but that was the plan for it. Now we do need to adjust this fight too because another player has now joined in and it looks like Saze is going down. So we are being third party right now, maybe even fourth party. I still don't know if these guys are on the same team or not, but it doesn't matter, we do go out. Guys, if you've been enjoying the video up to this point, if you've laughed, if you've loved, if you've learned, make sure you guys leave a like on it. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the sub button, it's free. Come on, baby. Do it. All right, so let's regroup, guys. We are, we're in a regain right now. We all lost our gunfight. We had no loady. We had very little money. So just a terrible start all in all. 85 players up, so the game's not over. It's not even close to being over. So you got to kind of lock it in when you're in the ghoulie. Even if one of you guys wins the gulag, you have to play for the reses first and try your best. I don't remember this part. <laughs> 
I fucking love Warzone, bro. Nothing makes me want to punch a teddy bear in the face repeatedly until my eyes turn blue like Warzone. You know what I mean? Savage's cheats are acting up again. All right, so again, guys, regain. Now, a lot of you guys would land back under dead bodies, even if you don't have loot. Don't do that. If your loadout's there, fine, by all means. Try to sneak that shit. I get it. But... Reset somewhere else, man. Reset somewhere else. There's clearly multiple teams there. We clearly were not prepared for that fight. We got shit on. It's time to go ahead, get our stuff, have a slow beginning, and try to go ahead and win the game. All right, something to, to point out, guys. Look, if you have a bounty that's on the outside of the zone, or you have a team on the outside of the zone, and they have a zip line, shoot it down. I don't know why people, even in my lobbies, no one shoots our zips down. We just zip from spot to spot uncontested. You see a zip, and there's a team around there, shoot it down, make their life a lot harder. Now, I want you guys to notice, too, the bounty is coming up on us right now, and we're going to try to go ahead and gatekeep this asshole. It just depends on how slow they are. If they're lacking momentum, and they sit there and loot for an extended period of time, we can really just kind of hold them on the edge, which is exactly kind of what we're about to do. Now, I'm planning for them to come to the buy station. That's basically a given, right? They're, they didn't take the vehicle like I thought they would, so they started pushing up more, and clearly the buy station is going to be the one. Hands me ADSing. Does see my glint. I need to go ahead and push up and get out of this position because, again, no cover, no concealment. And also, even though we have a UE up, there's no telling what kind of ghost of teams are around us. But I want you guys to notice the push real quick. Look at this. We have blue going on the left-hand side to get a different angle. We have green going on the right-hand side to get a different angle. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to go ahead and either go through the building on the rooftop to get a different angle, right? You want to try to take your fights together but being a little bit separated. I don't know how the hell it stuck that wall, but it did. And we don't win them all. We don't, I was hoping, I was hoping my savage your bot. Look, I was hoping when I threw that nade. All right, so just retrospect again, even when I die, I'm just gonna give you guys the reasons why I did what I did. I throw the nade, that one was just unfortunate. I throw the second nade and it lands literally right behind him. So what I'm hoping is even with him peeking, the nade will damage him, plus my bullets will damage him and it'll be a two and one, I'll be able to blow through him. But unfortunately, the nade doesn't do any damage at all and I get absolutely waxed. Don't execute. We got a whole team here and you're worried about little old me. This is why you die because you don't conserve your ammo. You don't play it up and recover from the damage I just gave to you. Why? I mean, I'm vulnerable anyway. I'm probably dead no matter what. It's not like I'm behind a vehicle. I'm out in the open. Replay, reload, kill me then. But the fact that he does that and I want you guys to see my, my teammates literally shooting at him gets the knock. Because again, drastic, drastic. Stop going for the execute, guys. Stop going for the execute. Now, if you're safe, by all means, he wasn't safe. That was just fucking crazy. Stop worrying about that stupid ass 1.3 KD, man. It's just dog. All right, here we go. One more time in the fucking gulag. Right now, all I'm doing is listen for his audio. Oh, it's just bad aim. All right, <laughs> it's, just, it's just bad aim, dude. But again, even though I even though I ran out of ammo, just noticed switch to the uh, secondary weapon, the pistol, getting the shot off. Granted, bad aim, it is what it is. But still, learn to adapt to different situations. And my team won the team fight. Weird, right? Three of them died just to execute me. Play smarter, not harder. All right, but again, this is a really good game. The ending gets crazy, crazy, and we do end up winning this thing. But it's a rough start. And I want to show you guys these fights and these games because these are the ones most you guys are experiencing. When you guys are watching the YouTubers, or it's always their best gameplay. We're all guilty of it. We post our best gameplay because why would he post our worst? But sometimes I want you guys to see me performing terribly and how we're still able to pull it off and win or even perform terribly and end up losing because there's a lot of valuable lessons in losses and wins. There's a lot of benefit to it all. So I want you guys to see everything. But now we have to move out. And I want you guys to notice the amount of UAVs we had, right? We had a fire sale. We spent a shit ton of money. We still got 16 grand. I had five UAVs on me and my teammates have UAVs too. So again, guys, getting in fights gets you money. I've died twice. We got squad wiped and still we had so much. So I'm only saying all that to say, make sure you guys are getting active with it, get in fights and take the enemy's cash. We got a UAV. We kind of know exactly where we want to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewind just real quick so we can talk about where we decided to go to. So when you look at this map right here, we got a lot of enemies. Bitches love sitting on skyscrapers. I don't know what it is. Hey, stop playing like this, bro. There's a reason why I got three wins in all of season two. Stop it. You don't do this. 
Look at this shit, bro. It's, it's just, it's crazy. It's just Camp City. And not every game looks like this, but that's basically what it is. So right now, what I want to do in my head is go Low Town. We got three teams on the outskirts that'll probably make their way to Low Town. We have a team at Low Town, and it's safe, and there's a buy, and it's edge of zone. So it's gonna be a good spot to fight. Now, I normally hate fighting Low Town because of the tall buildings and things, but if we can get there early and fight that first team with the amount of UAVs we have, there should be no surprises. Although this team to our left does look a little tasty, I'm not gonna lie. You wanna kinda you wanna kinda pick off the little little fish as they swim on in. And I think that's what we're about to do. And again, we got UAVs for days. Yep, just taking out zip lines. Yeah, we don't need the zips. We're already safe in the zone. There's no need for it. I want you guys to get in the habit of shooting zips down unless you're in my lobby. If you're in my lobby, don't do it. All right, don't be a dick. No, hey, I'm trying to help you guys. Don't fuck me. And again, this right here, when I tell you guys don't play on the edge of gas, start pre-rotating to the next zone, it's because players like me are going to be hunting your ass. That's all it is. These guys have been in this buy station for the entire fucking game. I don't know what else they want, but I promise you they're broke. You got to stop putting yourselves in bad positions like this te team's doing right here. They got to go, and they got to go to low town. I don't care what tools they have, what they think is going to happen. Nothing good, unless it's a bot lobby. Ain't nothing good gonna happen, brother. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out how to get on top of the building. So I want a good vantage point on the squad. And uh, I, I'll be honest, I can't figure it out. Watch this, watch, I, I remember this, watch. Epic. <laughs> and then I gotta settle for ground level. It still gives me le leverage though. All right, we got the hit. Got the hit. Beamer, oh, there we go, there's the knock, I knew it. Remember, I'm not going for the XE. I'm going for the movement. I see somebody's little head. I, just, I don't care about getting the XE. Not right now, at least. Our decision coming in. We got one of the confirms. Got another knock. And all we're doing right now is just holding. Again, they got to play the edge of the gas because they decided to play stupid games. They're about to win stupid prizes. Maybe they got smoke grenades to get out of there. You do see a smoke out. I'm so glad this dude right here is sitting crouched. That's, that's hot. Stop going. Stop going crouch. Stop it. Back in the day, going across the pro made you a lot more accurate. Not in this game. It, it makes you a little bit so little. It's basically non-existent. Don't do this shit. Maintain movement. Not to mention all these smokes they're wasting. They should have been throwing them bitches out to the next building, right? When we came up, I pointed out the first smoke. They should have already had another smoke thrown to rotate away and maybe push the high ground. It's the only option. They're probably going to die regardless because, again, they played the edge of the, of the actual gas the whole time. They just played with it. And uh, we just clapped their cheeks because of it. And again, we're sitting on money. We have UAVs. We still have one in the air. I want to see how we play this buy station and what we end up doing. All right, so again, another UAV up because fire cells are awesome. And we've got a fight over here. So we can go ahead and third party this situation. I like the fact that blue and, and green are, are pushing up. Now, I, I will usually play the back end because I am the sniper, but I kind of do want to get closer to my teammates. I, even this separation here has got me scared. One, if I get knocked and I have no self res, it's gonna be a hard fight for them to get back to me. And again, two, if they need help, dude, like, yeah, I'm sniping, which is cool, but all these buildings and terrain, I really can't see much. I don't really have a good angle right here. So I fully anticipate, hopefully, not getting tunnel vision on this asshole and getting my team. Yeah, there we go. And that's just something you have to realize when you're fighting, right? You, we get tunnel vision, we get a knock, we get to execute, we're going for downs, but all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, my teammate's not my, my line of sight. So you gotta go ahead and get LOS on them. So that again, you can you can be some kind of help. Now green's up there by themselves. So again, trying to push up a little bit. All right, so right now we have a guy on the rooftop. I don't, th I knocked him, but I'm pretty sure he's self because he should have bled out at this point. Now that C4, before y'all sit there, make fun of me. Stop it. I know, I know. I thought it was a Simtex. I usually carry Simtexes in my Lodi. I don't know where the hell that came from. Must have accidentally picked it up. But I don't think he's down because again, he should have bled out at this point. I don't know why he's not fighting. He's probably laying prone watch the staircase. I can't really remember, but um yeah once a bot always a bot man you guys if you're, if you're playing like this guy here you're gonna end up losing the game you might get a kill you might get a squad wipe but you're gonna end up losing this and many 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 other games there's one not try my best to somehow get to him unsuccessful of course <laughs> So notice this right here. So normally I would have pushed up and fought this for sure. But the guy on the rooftop has me a little pressed because I'm like, I don't know if he's got Lodi. I don't know what the situation is. I don't want him third party me while I'm fighting these guys that are at gas station while I'm third party in this fight. There's a lot of teams in the situation. So 
We made the educated decision just to break away and get the hell out of here all together. Guy close by. I go down. He goes for the execute. And again, I want you guys to notice. But again, he goes for the execute because Slush is, well, he, he likes dying. And he got clapped. It's not like he didn't know we were here. He literally saw both of us. He saw my teammates start shooting at her. So, just a bad play. And also, I want to go ahead and flip-flop that shit. I want you guys to notice my teammate goes to shoot. Gets the knock, they get shot from the roof. You see these tracers, but what, is, what does my teammate do? Runs back, doesn't go for the XQ. There's a skill gap, obviously, with plays like this. Now I have died three times again, not my best. Not all wins are easy, all right? Not all wins are perfect, not all wins are good, but a win is a win nonetheless. And it's usually games like these when you're like, how the fuck did we win that? Those are the best feeling wins. Those are the wins that really make this game feel better. When you're just blowing through a lobby, like, yeah, it's cool, high kills, but it doesn't give you that same, like, woo! You know what I mean? All right, so we have a fight going on right here. Teammates going in for this. Absolutely psychotic. My dude actually, actually, team player of the year, got out with a sliver of health. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, that's not the way you want to do it. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, don't do that. I respect the four because it's me, but don't do that. Now I'm falling in. I noticed another dick farm done right here. I don't sit here and hold. I'm not sitting here pinging and just being scared and swimming off in the distance. No, I'm gonna help my teammates out. We have two guys landing my squad mates right now. It's a 2v2. If I join in on this, now it's a 2v3. So let's play this fight accordingly. My teammates able to get one knock. Again, go. Soosh! You didn't learn the first time. This is what I mean, bro. When you make a mistake, you have to learn from it. Soosh, you died last time going for an execute to get that 0.4 KD up, brother. Guess what? Yeah, weird. Now you're back at a baseline. You got to kill, got killed. Got to kill, got killed. Stop playing like this, Soosh. Fuck. Now I executed because I was getting shot in the back and this dick farm dumb was blocking the fucking door with his fat ass. That's, I just want to point that out. That's why I did that. I just want to point that out. Now we got to get out here. I have a smoke grenade bless. So, of course, don't worry. We win this game. Just wait for it. <laughs> just, just wait for it. We win this game, I think. Four deaths now, all right? Four deaths now. Regains aren't always easy. Thankfully, because we were getting so many fights, we had a lot of money. So now our teammate can land at the buy, get us both back, and work her way over to Lodi. Now we're gonna instantly probably dive on the loadout unless some crazy shit happens. Let's see. This is what Audible's all about. You wanna kinda look around and see what the hell is going on. Notice I'm not diving on it. I'm pretty low, but I'm not diving. I see Dick Farm Dunn sitting up here. Bitches love to camp loadouts. I don't get it. And we also have a guy over here on bridge too. So this is, this is what you call chalked. Don't do that. So we decide not to. We decide to land together, play together and just go with ground the weapons and slowly work our way up just because there's a loady nearby doesn't mean you should always go for it now my teammate's a fucking crackhead he goes for it anyway again bad game for me the fuck was that <laughs> And my teammate goes down again because look, look this loady out in the open being like that even if you have two smokes it's only gonna get you so far obviously right actually you're only gonna get one smoke so it's only gonna get you so far so right now we're telling our teammate to bleed out not worry about nothing that way my other teammate can buy him back and again just having comms like that is gonna be huge if my teammate would have laid there y'all wouldn't come for him to bleed out then we can't buy them back and we can get absolutely just pressed and pushed. We gotta get safe, we gotta go. Thank God for the Muni, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the smoke, pick up the extra smoke, so now I'm sitting on three, maybe even four. That way we can get to the Lodi, right? We need two smokes to get there, we need smoke to get away, no doubt about it. And I'm gonna probably rotate left because when you look at this, obviously the circle's going left, circle's going over here. You wanna rotate and play within the buildings and maintain the higher ground. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Keeping height is gonna be priority most of the time. Staying away from these fights is gonna be important too because if you end up going through here and fighting these guys, you're gonna get caught out in the open on the push. You'll see exactly what I mean in the next few minutes. Now the enemy's sniping at us. I want you guys to notice how long our high alert was going for before they actually fired the trigger. Terrible. 
Now we're gonna play hard left. Now I tell you guys all the time, avoid the edge. <laughs> if you're in a bad position, sometimes the edge can be your friend and that's exactly what we're gonna be playing right now. If you're camping on the edge, sitting there, you're gonna end up getting clapped a lot of the times. But if you are on the edge, you have to be fighting for your fucking life. And again, you'll see in a couple seconds what I'm talking about. If you're playing the edge, you're always running enemy teams. You always need to be aware of that. High alert from above us, two enemies shooting. So we have another team here. They're definitely fighting possible six enemies. So you gotta be on red alert. We go ahead and bust inside, kind of just breathe for a second, see what's going on. We have pings coming up on the map. We know exactly where a lot of enemies are, but there's still so many teams left in this small little zone. We don't want to play too aggressive. Playing the edge in situations like this is very beneficial because if there are players in this building, on the rooftop here, in this building, playing very slow, and we decide to go ahead and push these guys, we're going to get shot in the back. So I want to make sure nobody's behind me before my fat ass pushes out there, puts myself in a very bad position. I hear footsteps. Now I got the kill on that guy. That's not who I was originally shooting. So originally shooting, so I was calming out that they're still around us. We hear them fighting now. And you saw the high alert every time I'm passing the doorway. So I know because of this door's angle that the enemy's gonna be in this area right here because they're looking at the door. Get no smokes. Playing the little cover that I have, the the trash can. Kind of like my gameplay this match. Now I have a kid under me screaming. I hear him because he's, well, he's screaming. So I hear footsteps on me right now. And I can't get an angle. If you look down, like you might be able to see him a little bit, but you put yourself so vulnerable. So I'm just gonna quickly pop up, throw a sim text, let him know who daddy is. And there, I am daddy. Get a little jumping, a little jumping hit marker. Now look, we need to rotate here. We have the high ground over in this area, but we're gonna have to jump down into the building. There's always a risk of people sitting in these buildings. And if it's three stack, we're probably gonna die no matter what. But we have a lot of fights going on the outskirts. When you look at the enemy numbers, we have three teams fighting our right-hand side. Plus we have the bomb drone even further away. That's four teams. That means there's three teams left. So there's a good chance one of these buildings isn't actually taken. And of course, we're gonna try to make a play for the one that is... Uh... Why are we going prone? Or make a play for the ones in zone. Look at this dude. Come on, bro. A thick ass. Now again, look at the mini-map. We're paying attention to all this shit as we're playing, as we're pushing. The, the Guardian, every single thing as we're getting this fight taken care of. I almost hit the light pole, lol. Again, enemy just sitting here thugging the nade. Not giving a shit about nothing. And yeah, he's solo, but again, you gotta make a play. These guys are fighting in the next building over. If he would have played in there, he might be he might be able to win this game, but you'll never know. The fact that he ate that nade is actually crazy in itself. So again, playing the edge, making sure we don't jump in the middle of some crazy ass shit. We're just getting intel right now. I'm scanning the left, scanning the right, seeing if anyone's rotating, see if anyone's laying in the bush, anyone's hiding. And of course, there, there you have it. Look at that guy there. It's one more time for Jesus. Look, what's even funnier is that he's literally standing on his own Proxmon. I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know. All right, so we know at this point we have to push this building. There's no more waiting. I'm gonna smoke out to blind the guy on the rooftop from our angle. Guy pushes right side, instant bail back. Again, reaction time. If you see an enemy, he's got an angle on you, bounce the cover. Don't try to challenge. My teammate's fighting. He goes ahead and gets that secured, and I'm just playing my life. And that upside down triangle faced fuck goes down. And I'm coming back in here playing for plates, playing for gas masks, anything I can find on their body. Throwing the smoke out. Probably should have threw that smoke further, but thank God my teammate had smoke. And again, I want to point out smokes. There's always that person in the comment section that's like, I love when people use smokes. That way my thermals can just kill them. I'll be honest. I've only been killed by a thermal in this new war zone twice in my entire life, two times. Nobody uses thermals. There are a few people, but you're a very, very, very vast minority. Nobody uses this shit. So until thermals become meta and people start putting out videos on thermals and how good they are, start rocking smokes. All right, I just want to, just want to put it here. Again, we're playing smokes right now. That's all we're doing. Now, right now, I'm looking for smokes to get my teammate rest. But again, Dick Farm Dunn going for the XC instead of playing his life. You know what's going to happen to him? 
I'm just trying to get smokes right now. That's all that's happening. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't Sush. To be honest, same skin and all. Maybe that skin is cursed. Maybe if you rock that skin, you're an executing little bitch. Sam 95657. What do those numbers stand for? All right, I'm a... <laughs> I didn't see this, but let's go back a little bit because this is kind of funny. <laughs> bro, people don't want to play the game, bro. I swear to God, they don't. They need to make they need to make a war zone where you just survive. Like, you, you don't even get guns. Like, maybe a scavenger hunt, maybe like a hide and seek, a uh, prop house. I don't know, something. But he's playing a whole other game. And like that, <laughs> I'm like, where's the last guy? All I do is follow his tracers. And there he is coming in for the uh, the win. That was obviously hard fought. I died four times. But guys, GG's. Oh, shit. Bama breed. Roll, roll time, baby. Hoo, 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 hoo.